Hello, my name is Nicole Lunan, and I wanted to share this piece with you about learning to listen to behavior. So, in a world where talk is cheap, how do you know who to trust? Alana sat anxiously at her dinner table, lightly tapping the surface, her eyes gazing softly at her cell phone, but her thoughts far away. Alana had been waiting for two long hours. A glass of red wine and a half-empty bottle accompanied her. I'm sure something came up, she thought to herself. Her thoughts were spinning at a rapid pace, just enough to cause a tightness in her chest. Suddenly, her phone buzzed. Excited, she launched towards her phone, only to find a work email. Confusion set over her. To avoid misery at all costs, Alana picked up her phone and began checking social media. She went straight to Mark's page, searching for any clue of his existence. You see, Mark had originally planned a date with Alana, a date she had been looking forward to all week, and instead, on a Friday night, she found herself alone and waiting. Alana thought back to all of the beautiful things Mark had said to her. I want to introduce you to my parents. You can trust me. I won't hurt you. I think about you all the time. His charming voice taunted her. She took another sip of wine, and her phone buzzed again, the noise slicing through the silence. Text message from Mark, it read in bold white letters. Slowly, she opened the message. Sorry, baby, won't be able to make it tonight. Work ran super late, and I'm exhausted. Don't be upset with me. I promise I'll make it up to you. Alana felt extremely annoyed. Why couldn't he tell me that he wasn't able to make it sooner? I thought we talked about this. After all, it wasn't the first time Mark had flaked on Alana. It seemed to be coming somewhat of a routine. She walked into her bedroom and began taking off the makeup she so happily put on before. She peered down at her phone and saw that Mark had texted again. Baby, you know how much I wanted to see you tonight. Alana's heart softened. Mark had been working really hard to get a new promotion. She admired him for his perseverance and felt guilty for wanting more of his attention. I should be more supportive, she thought. Right before she was about to text back, her best friend Lainey called. Alana, what you up to? Lainey said loudly into the phone. The background filled with noisy conversation. I'm at home. Decided to stay in tonight, Alana said casually. What? Why? It's Friday. I'm out at the most gorgeous lounge. You must join me. Plus, your guy is here, she said happily. Alana's heart sank. Mark is there? We live in a time of texts, emails, captions, and tweets. Often, words act as empty promises with no real intent behind them. They have lost the power they once had, abandoning us with the well-known lesson that actions do in fact speak louder than words. In the beginning of all relationships, words are all we have. I've repeatedly caught myself falling in love with words, neatly packaged syllables that create the building blocks to my augmented reality. As time went on, words became my biggest downfall. I found myself becoming increasingly frustrated as the words of others did not support their actions. The dissonance was easily seen, yet it took me time to truly accept that some people just lack integrity, and integrity is a must-have in healthy relationships. If you can't trust another's words, then why are they still in your life? If everything they say goes against everything they do, then they don't really mean what they're saying. What are their actions really telling you? Learning to listen to behavior is tough at first because we like to give people the benefit of the doubt. You may not want to believe that your new lover or friend is not the person that he, she claims to be. You may try to justify or create excuses, but the truth is evident in the behavior. For example, Mark stood up Alana and had done so many times. Do you think that Mark truly cares about Alana? 
Do you know how long it takes to send a simple text message saying won't be able to make it or even a short phone call prior? We cannot allow our yearning for intimacy and friendship to blind us and entice us to settle for less than what we deserve. Below are some questions to ask yourself about the people in your life. You may also ask yourself these questions to assess your own standing in words versus action. Do they say they will call meet up and leave you hanging? When they say they are going to do something, do they follow through? How much do you trust what they are telling you? Do you find yourself second guessing them often? Do you consistently find yourself waiting on them? Do they say sweet things and then turn around and treat you badly? Do you often find yourself comparing what they said to how they're acting? When they speak, do you feel that they are being authentic or just telling you what they want, they think you want to hear? Do you find yourself making excuses and justifying their actions? If you take away words and only listen to their actions, would you still want them in your life? You deserve to have people around you that you can trust. Integrity should be a standard, not a bonus. You deserve to be treated with love and respect. Anything less than that is settling. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. Those who really love you shouldn't make you feel bad all the time. There are good people out there, but you won't attract them by keeping those who continuously mistreat you around. Eliminate the bullshit and create space for those whose actions live up to their words. Every time you say no to those who have hurt you, you take one step closer to love, happiness, stability, and the life I know you deserve. Thank you for listening. Warmest, Nicole Unan.